Hey there, board gamers, Justin here, Painting. Today, I want to talk about factions. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I apologize for the weird format. Um, I had the stream rig set up from some stuff I was filming and decided it would be easier to kind of do what I'm doing here and see if that format works out for us. So uh, we will see. Uh, I'm sure we'll go back to me filming the other foot or with the other camera and, and stuff at some point. I also have this like new microphone to try out. So we will see how that works. Uh, but for now, I think this setup is going to work well for today's discussion. So today, I want to talk about factions, why you might pick them, and why. And perhaps you will chime in in the comments and give me an explanation for why you picked what you picked, or maybe what you're on the fence for, or uh, maybe you're new and you're not sure what to pick, so we'll get a discussion going. On that note, let's go ahead and switch on over, and we'll check out the models I pulled out in the factions. Just give you a rundown of what uh, I've got here and why I picked what I picked. All right, so uh, up here we have got a variety of Timberwolves because uh, you can't go wrong with a Timberwolf. It is what it is. And I'm sorry, I thought I cleaned all this stuff off. You guys don't need to see my stream crap, all the old stream crap. We'll just get this off the screen real, real quick. You don't need it. You don't need it. Why would we need it? Boop, 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 boop. Okay, the whole point of this was for me to attempt to do this quickly and um, do some... Uh, something fast and here I am not uh, not getting it and I'm struggle to find where that thing is uh, there we go bunk bunk all right clicking on them wasn't working and let's go ahead and get rid of the tip jar cool all right here we go a <laughs> uh, little uh, little segue there so um, I've got a bunch of Timberwolves here uh, can't go wrong with the Timberwolf uh, it's an iconic unit it is uh, what it is and it's what we like um, we've got an awesome here. We've got a Warhammer. We've got Marauder. Uh, Marauder and the Warhammer are also iconic. You can't go wrong with those. We've got a Catapult, another iconic mech, and a King Crab. So, in reverse order of what I just showed here, I'll show you guys kind of what I got and I'll talk about why I picked what I picked. So, this right here is my Comstar, uh, or a representation of my Comstar. Um, I've got a variety of units for them, uh, a little bit more of a a varied uh, faction group here because the Comstar guys, their level sixes, can intermingle um, tanks and so forth. Um, so I've got uh, vehicles to go with them. I've got vehicles for other factions too, but predominantly with them because they run the, the six um, unit size versus the four or the five. Um, so why did I pick Comstar? So uh, I wanted something that I could use in proxy as Word of Blake, so Jihad Air. Baddies, everybody like the baddies. Are we the baddies? Um, and also something that would be good against Inner Sphere and Clan. So if I'm playing with friends and we want to be fluffy, you know, I don't always have to play one side or the other. I can just be like, Comstar, pay your bills, fucko. <laughs> Thanks, Tech. Um, if you guys aren't following uh, Tech's Talk Battle Tech, uh, that's one of the things that he says when he's talking about Word of Blake. And uh, great, it's a great, great source of information on, on YouTube. Um, and just something that I love to put on the background and listen to while I'm painting. Um, great source of uh, background and just entertainment. So check out Text Talk Battle Tech. Chances are, if you're on my channel, you probably already know who he is. But if you don't and you're new and you stumbled across these, go search him out. His channel is called Black Pants Legion. You will, you will not be disappointed. So, anyways, uh, I picked Comstar because they could say. Um, they could fight against Inner Sphere, and maybe uh, they're trying to control the flow of information, the space internet, as it were, or they're trying to help prevent a clan invasion. You know, so I get to be the good and the bad guys, or both. A little bit of ambiguity, no matter what we're doing and who I'm playing. Uh, and because they exist most eras, even I even think now in the Ill Clan, there's a small little bit of them that's on the Master Unit list, uh, if I recall, which makes me think they're like there's going to be some new stuff. You just can't get rid of Comstar. It is what it is. Um, Post jihad things kind of you know get a little different, but pre jihad pretty pretty good to go. Um, in either case, something that I could use, something I could play. Uh, white is a pain in the ass to paint. This looks way better on camera than it does in photography because the flash photography really blows out a lot of the darkness. But got real dark up here into the white, um, and I think that that transition, that grunginess, makes it look good. So I really like that. Um, next up, we've got our catapult here, and this one is from Kirita, Dragon's Fury specifically iconography. Um, now, the reason I picked this one is A, they look cool, uh, B, I wanted to paint red, and C, my very first faction in MechWarrior Dark Age when I played the Clicks was Dragon's Fury slash um, uh, uh, Kurita, Kurita Dragon's Fury. Um, you may know this is Draconis Combine. Um, 
So my very first uh, foray into that game, I went to eBay and I was like, click, 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 click. Um, and I typed in uh, Mech Warrior Dark Age um, uh, Locked. And one of the ones that was up for auction was the Draconis Combine uh, Dragon's Fury Karita set or, or, or collection lot from this guy. I didn't know what I was buying. And I got this like little like tackle box thing full of dossiers and units. And he it was a collector thing. Like, yeah, I don't know if you even played. But I had so much stuff. I had no idea what I bought. I just wanted to get into the game. And that was a quick way to get a bunch of units quick. And my very first unique came from that. And that was Kaze Loki Bounty Hunter um, from the, the Dark Age era. So when I got into the Alpha Strike minis, you could use this for classic, but I play primarily Alpha Strike. I wanted a representation of my first faction. Um, now uh, I didn't follow their paint scheme uh, very well. Like they were they were black and gray, but they also had some green spattered on them. I just wanted to go with the black, or it's not black. Sorry, red and gray. I wanted to go with that. So, uh, but I got a little bit of representation to remind me of my boys, my first faction, and uh, yeah, picked it up. Some of these guys, I've got quite a few. Um, I think I've got a company's worth plus some that are not finished. I've got the Shiro, the Rokorubi, and a lot of the like Japanese samurai inspired mechs. I've got those just not uh, not, not finished. So um, that is why I chose those. No lore reason. I mean, there's some, some cool lore stuff, but I, I haven't delved that deep into it. So um, moving on though, we've got a Marauder here. This is from uh, Swordsworn. It's a branch of uh, House Davian uh, in the Dark Age era. Again, I played during Clicky Tech. They existed. Swordsworn was a faction to me, Davian Swordsworn. Um, so I want to paint up a group of those. So I have a company of these bad boys too. Got that green and the blue icon on them. And you can't go wrong with Marauder. It looks really cool. Um, and yeah, so with this, I wanted something that was kind of the, arguably the good guys. Um, again, in, in Battletech, that's a, um, that's a gray era, uh, a gray area. You never know who, who's good, who's bad, right? Um, it is what it is. But I think it, within reason, um, the community doesn't look as uh, unfavorably, unfavorably upon House of Davian as they may um, Light Liao or maybe Dragon's Fury or excuse me, uh, Kirita, Draconis Combine or uh, Word of Blake, Jihad Era stuff. Uh, particularly Liao, uh, I think Texas statement for those is the, uh, um, I can't, I'm not even gonna try and like uh, impersonate him, but uh, um, they said the, the, the favored sheath for Liao uh, soldier is your back. Like, that's pretty brutal. Um, so. I felt like Davian was a good like catch-all inner sphere unit uh, or, or house that was looked reasonably favorably upon and would go good as more of a um, um, what's the word the good guys um, antagonists not antagonists whatever the good guy the heroes this is what I'm going for good guy stuff so got a bunch of those um, now uh, moving forward here um, these are no in particular order like the the order in which I've displayed these is not the order in which they were painted but we've got a warhammer here from um, um, the Northwind Highlanders specifically painted up to look like how they would look during the Dark Age era uh, when they were serving for the Republic of the Sphere. They had this tan um, kind of color scheme with green um, green arms, green legs, and often a green helmet or green head portion of the mech. Um, so why did I pick these? Um, it's Northwind freaking Highlanders. It's, that's why. They're mercs and they're kind of the good guys and they give a big middle finger to anyone who tells them what to do. Um, and I like that. I think that is cool. Um, yes, during this era that I've painted, they're serving under the for the Republic of the Sphere, but it was kind of the lesser two evils. If they wanted to maintain some of their arms, their equipment, and their military prowess, they kind of had to give up a little bit of that... Um, um, so that, uh, or give up some uh, pride and, and serve the Republic so that they could maintain uh, that. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, Republic be damned if uh, Northwind is in trouble, they will figure it out. They come a running. Like, the home world is not going down for someone else that ain't, ain't of Northwind. Like, that's just the way it is. They, they're, they're honorable, but, like, you don't mess with the home world. That's just the way it is for them. Um, and whereas uh, all the other factions kind of uh, uh, kowtowed, is that the right word, bowed down to the Republic they found their own way to uh, maintain their sovereignty under the Republic of the Sphere where everyone else is kind of brought under the thumb of Devil and Stone and I think that is cool. I'm a big fan of mercs, particularly mercs that aren't like bad. They have like benevolent reasons or they have a moral high ground typically. Um, or I would, I would assume with these guys and I thought that was cool. Also, Dark Age Era, uh, again from the clicky text, they have a special place in my heart. These were units I played against or played with because uh, I collected a lot of mercs uh, when I played. So I collected Republic of the Sphere, I collected um, Knights of the Sphere, sorry, Republic Sphere, Knights of the Sphere. I collected Draconis Combine, Slash Dragon's Fury. I collected uh, Mercs, like Mercs and the Knights of Republic. I had so many Mercs, like I think probably all the Mercs that were out the Mercenaries. So, um, special place in my heart for that. 
Moving on here, we got another Merc here. This is my homebrew. Um, this right here is an awesome. Um, so the way my homebrew works is they're independent, or there are wings or groups of my kind of uh, reinforced companies, what I'm gonna call it, because there's, there's four groups. Um, this one is blue and black, um, and my faction, uh, the name has gone through a variety of um, um, iterations, but it is currently locked in and settled as Faria Phasma. Um, that is my, uh, my faction name, Faria Phasma. And that is Latin for Iron Ghosts. And they actually have their own like little um, um, uh, statement here uh, that I've, I have come up with and that should reasonably be um, academically accurate for Latin as far as I have been informed by a buddy of mine who, who took Latin. Um, and their, fra their phrase is Fractum Ferum Ad Hoc Cadit and that stands for Broken Iron Can Still Cut. Um, and this guy is from, let me see, um, the Blue Lance, which is, um, let's see, I think I broke this down. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so, okay, yeah, yeah. so uh, Blue Lance is, uh, this is Famine. This is the, this, their grouping. This is the, the, the wing or the, the, the portion of my faction for Reefasm. This is, this, he's from, fa he's from uh, Famine. Um, each wing is, is, is named after a horseman of Apocalypse. So we've got Conquest, we've got Famine, we've got War, and we've got Death. And then a big baddie is Apocalypse. That's what it is. It's my factions there, my, my, my nomenclature naming there, naming convention. So um, in my fluff, my head cannon, uh, my character is in the canon, Justin Cloud Hall. If you Google him, he is there. I'm in a couple of books. Um, Blaine Pardo wrote about me. I don't do a lot of cool stuff, but I do end up forming like a merc company. It's not this one, but hopefully one day. If there's anyone from Catalyst watching, I will do lots of things and work really hard to make this happen. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to form my own merc company, and my character's sort of involved with one right now on the fluff. This is the one I want to be part of. And my head can and my headspace for this A with a merc, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can adapt the fluff the way in whatever way you kind of want within reason. You know, being practical with it. My head cannon is uh, spoiler alert. If you aren't familiar with the fluff right now, this would be big ass spoilers. So cut it off if you need to. Pause, you know, a couple minutes, fast forward. Um, gave a long enough pause, here we go. Uh, so, end of Ill Clan, um, or Hour of the Wolf, Terra Falls. Uh, all the Republic soldiers are either bondsmen that become full-blooded members of the clan, or um, they leave, or both. Um, so you have a bunch of soldiers, a bunch of mech warriors without a government, without a country, without anything to serve, uh, and they've watched their homeworld fall, right? That is the rise of the mercenaries. We've got the mercenary clan, and, or, or not clanvation, mercenary Kickstarter coming, and that's probably why. Kind of my character shows up back, or uh, shows up again during this time. We'll see. Um, my thought processes are: my character was a ghost knight in the Republic of the Sphere. I have a lot of connections, a lot of things I can do. Guerrilla warfare, hit and run tactics. What happens if I start, you know, calling in favors, you know, reaching out to all my contacts, and I form a merc company that's meant to do hit and run stuff? the Iron Ghosts, Feria Phasma, and we become a thorn in Ward's side. He didn't eradicate us, he tried to indoctrinate us and, and pull us into his group, and we're not having it. A broken sword may still yet cut. And that is kind of my philosophy. Uh, we can do hit and run tactics and make his, his life hell trying to run the Inner Sphere. Uh, the Jade Falcons are beat to shit, the um, Clan Wolf is beat to shit, the Republic of the Sphere is beat up. What better time for us to continue applying pressure to continue annoying him and doing whatever we can to let him know we still exist. You can't just flip a switch and allegiances change. You can say that on paper, but to them, no. You've tried to conquer our world, our government. You've taken out our leader. We're not okay with this. You know, if you want to truly conquer Terra, you truly want to eradicate us, you, you got to take us down to the last man because you can't kill an idea, but you can kill the person. And if you get all the all the people with the idea, it's gone. I'm not, I'm not advocating you know Ward go after mass genocide, not some jihad stuff. But that's my philosophy with them. They they refuse to quit, so they form this merc company. Uh, I've got a, a graphic made to do decals with, so it's a modified um, graphic to represent them. Um, and yeah, that's that's my faction. I want them to be waging a hit and run guerrilla fighting against Clan Wolf. And they're they're big. They're not they're a huge company, but they're big. I've got enough where I can have groups of them. So each group's got different colors. So we've got black. And then a gold border and blue. I've got one that's black, red, blue, black, purple. Or it's not black, red, blue. Uh, black, um, gold color or, or metallic color, red, black, metallic, uh, blue, black, metallic, green, and black, metallic, purple. And that creates a hierarchy. So for my faction, that actually looks something like this. So we've got like a pyramid, right? So with what we've got, uh, green being the middle, 
officers, the things that bind everything together. We've got uh, red, we've got blue. That's your entry level grunts. Not necessarily that they're bad, but that's the guys that form the foundation of the pyramid and your, uh, your lance leaders or your more veterans are up here with purple. So red and blue make purple. That is the top of the pyramid, which is the ranking structure. Not everyone gets to be a captain. Um, there are more privates than there are sergeants. It's the way that it works. So in this case, we've got the officers or the command staff pulling everything together and the other three branches that form our pyramid around that are the red, blue, and purple. And the purple being the combination of those that have been promoted and moved forward. So that's kind of the structure of my faction. And a lot of thought went into what it was I was formulating and that's why I like Mercs. You can create your own mercenary company. And when you go into Master Unit List, if you ever watch that video, check it out. Uh, you can sort by mercenaries and stuff like that so that you're picking units that a mercenary company would use. So think of that. Moving on, uh, we've got the uh, the Green Turkeys, the Jade Falcons. Um, again, I played against these during the Dark Age era quite a bit with the Clicky Tech. This is painted after the Raptor Keshik, which is Hour of the Wolf, Malvina, uh, Wolf. Hour of the Wolf, Malvina Hazen. This is her group. Um, and I wanted something to be the bad guys. I had these guys, which are arguably, arguably morally good or the, on the good side of things. These guys were the baddies. Um, I don't think the Jade Falcon's always been bad, but like under Malvina Hazen's rule, like they're pretty bad. So I wanted to have something on the evil side. Also wanted a cool paint scheme and something that might challenge me. I like to paint with gray, but um, I wanted to do that emerald green and the interesting uh, canopy colors. So I'll zoom in on that. Um, I really wanted to try something different and uh, I went with that purple into blue and it turned out just, I'm, I'm super happy with it, even though it's a factor that people hate. Uh, in my video that broke down um, the uh, um, hobby updates for the Highlanders and the Jade Falcons, my Highlanders got like three or four times more views than the Jade Falcons, like people hate them. Also my most disliked video or clip put on YouTube is a Jade Falcon video. I was showcasing one of my models and it's the most disliked video. I think the model's fine. I think people just hate Jade Falcon. <laughs> and that means me picking them makes sense because baddies. So moving on, let's go ahead and zoom out here. Um, we've got my Wolf's Dragoons. It's an older paint scheme. I've got some better looking stuff, but this still holds true. And the reason that I picked Wolf's Dragoons was I read um, Hour of the Wolf uh, and all the books that led up to it that were recommended. Um, uh, the Divided We Fall uh, with the unification of Spoilers, uh, sorry guys, that's where we're at. Uh, unification of the the uh, branches of, of what formerly were or are now Clan Wolves. So um, your, your like Wolves in Exile stuff, your Steel Wolves, your um, Wolf's Dragoons, sort of. Um, I read these stories and I got real, real excited about the Wolf's Dragoons because their, their story's cool. They're former clanners that side with the Inner Sphere during the clan invasion. Uh, and then they come full circle and they're trying to be welcomed back to the clan only to be shit on. Um, if you haven't read the story, you should read it. But by the end of Hour of the Wolf, um, I was livid. The last, like, the, there's a point in the story where they just, this thing happens and I literally wanted to tear the page out of that book. Not because the book was bad, because I was so angry. And when I talked to Ray Arista about it, he's like, well, what, how'd you feel? And I told him, he's like, that's exactly how we want you to feel. And he looks at me. And I was like, well, I felt it. After that, I painted up a company of Wolf's Dragoons. I was like, uh, screw Clan Wolf. Wolf's Dragoons need my support, boy. Like, that's what they need. So uh, I, I painted up some Wolf's Dragoons, and it's it's what I would uh, argue is probably my, my primary faction or uh, um, tied for, for two factions. Um, and that will lead us into my, my first major faction. I painted my Merc dudes first. This one's uh, one of my older models. Um, but my, my first, like, major primary faction was uh, Clan Wolf. And why did I pick Clan Wolf? Well, I think the paint scheme's dope. Um, I like the models, which clanners, all the clans have stuff. Um, the uh, wallpaper they put out with the Kickstarter I backed with that badass um, uh, Timberwolf with the weapons laid out. It's in Beta Galaxy, that's why I painted this. It looks so sick, it's just chef's kiss. It's fantastic. Um, made me want to do that. Now, I get a lot of people saying this is the Duncan paint scheme. It looks like it because he painted Beta Galaxy, but I followed a camo specs picture at the time. Uh, which there's no denying that Duncan had to have done that. The canopy thing, the style he was doing, that um, camo specs canopy is very, very similar. I feel like Duncan was probably referencing that. I was referencing that. Uh, I was painting this before his video went up, and when he put his video up, uh, he put a thing up on social media, like Facebook asking what we're working on, and I, I posted this. I was like, I I'm working on this too. But people, don't, they don't ever see what I've done. They always see Duncan and, or see it and think Duncan. So um, it is what it is. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, this was my first major faction. I painted up a bunch of them. Um, those are the reason why they were kind of arguably like the good guys, kind of. Uh, again, varying degrees of um, gray area there with what is good and what is bad. During the Ill Clan era, depending on what side of the fence you're on, they might be good, they might be bad. During the clan invasion, they are invading, but they're one of the only clans that like did their objectives and didn't get slaughtered um, like everyone else. So, um, and I don't know, some of their approaches seem arguably good benevolent one might say um but yeah so i don't know i just like them and i think they look really cool so i think as a, a recap though uh looking at what we've got here um i think so we've got comstar draconis combine sword sworn uh jade falcon and clan wolf and then three of whoops three of my models here uh three of my four factions or eight factions rather are mercenaries it's almost 50 percent um, and one of them is a homebrew that I've created and hopefully one day get to make can and it will be so sweet So we'll see what happens. Um, do my best to try and get involved with catalyst um, I haven't talked about it yet, but uh, we'll do a video at some point talking about camo specs I uh, kind of got accepted in so I'm one of the camo spec artists I just haven't done a big video about it So um, my first step into trying to get integrated and do more things with CGL more things with Battletech and try and leave Not only my stamp on the universe, but also do my part to continue to grow the community and help bring Battletech to people Specifically Alpha Strike. I think that's the future. Nothing wrong with Battletech Classic. Classic Battletech. It's fine But I think that the the average war gamer like approaching it like a standard war game It's really easy to approach Alpha Strike. It's affordable. It doesn't take a lot of time to play it doesn't take a whole weekend You can you can play real quick versus like Classic if you've been playing for 30 years is very very quick for you but to get someone new into it it's a lot and alpha strike is not so much it's very simple and you can get people introduced and then you know it, it, it introduce them to this broad huge swath of time and lore and fluff and models and books and all that stuff and i think alpha strikes the gateway to everything whether they choose to get into uh, classic or not is irrelevant it's them getting into battle tech and that is good for everyone so uh, but yeah I, I digress i got a little off topic there um, as we can see here, I think you know, almost 50% of what I've chosen to paint is uh, mercenary and stuff that I don't have on my table here. Uh, I've got some more uh, Dragonus Combine that's not done, more Clan Wolf, uh, more Mercs of all types, and I've also got some Pelic of the Sphere. So technically I have nine factions, they're just not done. Um, so they're not out here. I grabbed finished minis to show you. So Republic of the Sphere era stuff, or Dark Age era, so I've got like green and then they'll be painting red arms and stuff on them. So when I get to it. Uh, but on that note, I pose the question to you guys. I pass the mic to you. Just here you go. What do you guys play? What are your factions? Why have you chosen what it is that you've chosen? I'd be very curious to, to hear those um, explanations in the comments down below um, as to uh, what factions you've picked. Uh, was it a paint scheme? Was it a lore? Was it a story? Did you make your own homebrew mercenary faction? Have I inspired you to pick something? Have I inspired you not to pick something because you didn't like the story I was talking about? You thought it was bullshit or you know, the paint scheme looks complicated? What is it? Let's talk. Let me hear what it is that uh, you're interested in faction-wise, what it is that you have painted or interested in painting, and just talk. Let's get a conversation going. I'm very excited about this. Um, this topic is very cool. It's always nice to talk to someone who's on the cusp of something new, someone who's wanting to get into the game, wanting to start a faction. It's also equally cool to talk to someone who is established and picked a faction, or they have a variety of factions, and to know what makes you tick. I think that's what makes us interesting, and your reason for picking a merc faction or a clan may differ from mine, and understanding your perspective makes all the difference because it's interesting. It shows how we are different, or perhaps a little bit alike. On that note, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we are rapidly approaching 2,500 subs, and I could not do it without you guys. So thank you very much. If you want to help support what I do, check out the description down below. Links to Fortress Miniatures and Games and Death Redesigns help support what I do and helps me to continue to produce content and also helps support those companies. And supporting DRD is really good because I work there in my day job. As long as I stay in business, I keep my job. On that note, as we know, if I don't get off here, I'll continue to ramble. So, as always, folks, keep painting those models, keep rolling those dice, and I will catch you guys next time.